Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. Yeah. Yesterday was Monday. So, if yesterday was Monday, then today is what? Yesterday was Monday, then today is Tuesday. Yeah. Today is Tuesday. So, if yesterday was Monday, and today is Tuesday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday was Monday, and today is Tuesday, then tomorrow will be Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow is Wednesday. So today is Tuesday. The month is September. What number? Well, there are two twos next to each other like this. That makes the number 22 or 22nd. And we sign that by bouncing the number two next to each other. 22. Yep. So today is Tuesday, September 22nd. The year is 2020. Um, today is a special day. Do you know why it's special? I think that's funny. <laughs> well, it's about the season. What season is it today? Do you remember why today would be special? Well, yesterday was the last day of summer. Yeah, summer is all done. Today is the first day of a new season. Do you know what season it is? Miss Jessica did not grab her icon from school today, so I'm gonna have to write it. And hopefully I can write it neat enough. I don't know if you can see that. Tempted at a leaf. <laughs> what season is it? Do you know what season that says? It's fall. Yeah. Today is the first day of fall. Yeah, which is really exciting. For people like Miss Jessica, who it is their favorite season, fall. Yeah. And today is what's called the autumnal equinox, which means there's the same amount of darkness as there will be daylight. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Okay, so what is the weather like today? Well, I got distracted by Mr. Tyson, but when I look outside my windows, you can look outside your windows, what does the weather look like outside today? When I look 
look outside, I see that it's sunny outside today. It's sunny. I think it's gonna be kind of warm, not too hot, which is pretty good, but warm. So I think I saw like 88 degrees. It's not, it's not bad. Okay. Let's look at our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. You need to be respectful of all people. And that includes yourself because you're a person. Um, we respect people's choices, personal space, personal property, differences, ability levels. You need to respect all aspects of people. One great way to show respect is to keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself. Be safe with your body and with the objects around you. Even if you're angry, yeah, we still need to be safe. We need to find other ways to communicate our feelings. Follow the directions of all your teachers. This one can be a challenge right now because you're not working with me and the rest of your staff every day in person. There's still people in your life but you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, family members, any support staff you may have. They ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Yeah. Always use nice words. We need to make good choices and be appropriate with our language and our tone of voice, even if we're angry, even if we're upset. People aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate language. So we need to make good choices. Always do your best. Yes, always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have from day to day and from situation to situation. And your best might look different every day and in each situation. And that's okay. It's okay if your best looks different. And it's okay if your best looks different from someone else's best. Yeah. Everybody's best is going to be different. And that's okay. As long as you try your best, that's all that matters. All right. How are we feeling today? Are you hungry? Do you have a headache? Are you cold? Are you tired? Are you hot? Are you confused? Are you sick? Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you frustrated? Or are you thirsty? How are you feeling today? You can point. You can tell somebody. If there's a way you're feeling that isn't listed, you can use your words and tell somebody that as well. Good job. Awesome. It's really important to share how you're feeling. How? I feeling today? <laughs> All right. I have to entertain myself somehow. <laughs> Even if it's just making faces. All right. I'm a little tired. Yeah, I've been a little run down lately. And I think that means that maybe I'm not taking care of myself the way I should. I'm a lot more tired lately. Um, I have a little bit of a headache. I've had one since yesterday. Uh, and so that means that maybe I need to take medicine or drink more water, get more rest. Yeah. You know what's coming next because I say this every day. I'm a little sad. Yeah. I'm a little sad because I miss all of you so very, very much. Um, we've got some birthdays coming up this week, staff and student birthdays that um, we should be celebrating together. Yeah. And it's hard to think about that this is yet another set of birthdays that we don't get to celebrate together this year <laughs> but when I think about all of you home happy healthy safe well taken care of and the fact that 
Sunday, hopefully very soon. We will be back together. Um, and we'll make up for all those celebrations that we missed. And that we're just going to have the best days. That makes me really, really happy. Yeah, thinking about all of you makes me happy. Because even though I miss you, you are my happy place. True. All right. Well, meeting is all done. I'm going to do a reading video. Remember, we are doing our daily Zoom meetings. If you are available, if you are able to come join us. I do understand if um, it's hard for you to join us. That's okay. But I'll be there every day from 10 to 1040. Um, and we have our daily activities on our calendar. I should, in the next week or so, be sending out the October calendar. And hopefully those are some activities you would like to join as well. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful first day of fall. And I will see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.